easy times. We've been having a good time, an easy time here at Music History Monday these last few weeks. Five of our last six Music History Monday posts have featured fairly recent musical events from the popular side of the musical aisle. Music History Monday for June 24th focused on disco. On July 1st, the invention and marketing of Sony's Walkman. On July 8th, the American crooner Steve Lawrence. On July 22nd, Taylor Swift. And on July 29th, Cass Elliott. Today, we get back to the historical repertoire. But let me assure you, the composer we will focus on was as groundbreaking as Sony's Walkman. His music, as gorgeous as the silken voices of Steve Lawrence and Cass Elliott. His rhythmic sensibilities as sharply honed as those of the Bee Gees and Taylor Swift. Though, to my knowledge, a concert of his music never simulated a magnitude 2.3 earthquake in downtown Seattle, as did Ms. Swift's on July 22nd of 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Guillaume Dufay. We celebrate the birth on August 5th, 1397, 627 years ago today, of the composer Guillaume Dufay. He was, by every standard, one of the greatest composers to have ever lived and was admired as such in his lifetime. To find out why Dufay is still considered one of the great ones and why he was called the first professional composer, join me for my Music History Monday podcast, which can be accessed on all podcast platforms, or enjoy the illustrated full-text ad-free version of this blog and much more on my Patreon channel.